Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make Irish sea moss gel for hair growth. So a company by the name of Vegan Electric reached out to me and asked me if I would try their product. So I said yes and I was given this bag of sea moss to try and this is how it looks in the bag before I do anything with it. Their sea moss is wild harvested from the coastal waters of St. Lucia. So this is the real deal guys. This stuff comes straight from where the Caribbean Sea meets the Atlantic Ocean. So of course, before I start anything new, I like to do my research and I found out that Irish sea moss is mother nature's gift to us because it has so many amazing benefits. Our body is made up of 102 essential minerals and Irish sea moss contains 92 of those minerals. It has several antiviral agents that cure and prevent respiratory ailments such as pneumonia, colds, bronchitis, flu, and even tuberculosis. Irish sea moss creates a feeling of fullness, thus suppressing the appetite, and this is very helpful for weight loss. It also helps to increase energy and is good for sore joints and muscles because of its anti-inflammatory properties. It soothes the digestive tract so it helps with conditions such as irritable bowel syndrome. It's great for your skin and it has so many amazing benefits for your hair, one of which includes giving it strength. So let's begin. So I took about a palm full out of the bag and this is what it looks like up close. Real sea moss should not be the same color or size. If it's all one color, chances are it's fake or even worse, it's bleached. It also soaks up the salt water it grows in and as a result, when it dries, this shows up on the surface. However, it should lightly be dusted with salt that is as fine as sugar crystals. If it's packaged with grains of salt that look more like rock salt, it's probably fake. So because our sea moss comes straight from the ocean, we need to wash it first in order to get rid of the sand, salt, and other impurities. It's best to use filtered water if you can, but if you don't have that, bottled spring water will probably be your next best option because you want to avoid soaking up chemicals that are in your tap water. My kitchen sink already has a filter attached to the faucet, so I'm just filling up this glass measuring cup with that filtered water. Next, I'm going to put my moss in a strainer and just pour that filtered water over it just to give it a quick little rinse off. So now it's time for me to really clean it. So I'm going to put my moss into a bowl and I'm gonna pour some more filtered water into the bowl, enough to cover it. And I'm going to use my hands to give it an old fashioned scrub down. Just like my grandmother used to do back in the day with those washboards before she got a washing machine. She would take that washboard and she would scrub, scrub, scrub hard with those hands. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And you can see my water is starting to get a little cloudy. And that lets me know that all these impurities are starting to come off. So I'm going to strain my moss again and repeat the same steps until my water is clear. Then I know it's clean. Oh, and I almost forgot, if you take a lime and squeeze the lime juice into the water, that also helps to clean the sea moss. So during this cleaning process, I changed the water about four to five times and you can see the water is now clear and my sea moss has really started to expand. And this is one of the reasons why it helps with weight loss because when you ingest this stuff, it expands in your stomach, making it feel full. 
So next I'm going to transfer my sea moss to a glass bowl and spread it out just a bit. Don't worry, my hands are clean. And then I'm going to cover it with some more filtered water and add the second half of my lime because that will help to reduce the ocean smell and taste. So now it just needs to soak so it can continue to expand and you want to soak it for a minimum of four hours but it's best just to go ahead and let it soak overnight and that's what I'm going to do because I don't plan on using it on my hair until the next day anyway. So on to the next day and look at how much my sea moss has expanded. Don't worry my hands are clean. Remember I started out with a palm full of dry sea moss. Now look at how much there is and you'll know it's ready to be used because it'll have an almost translucent look to it. And now it's time to make this gel. So for this step, you're going to need a powerful blender and I'm just gonna put a little bit into the cup. And guys, there's so much of it. I was not ready for how much this stuff was going to expand. I mean, look at it all. And here's how much I put in my cup. That's probably about one cup's worth. And then I'm going to add my filtered water, just enough to cover it. And remember, if you don't have filtered water, you can use bottled spring water from the grocery store. And now I'm going to blend it until it gets nice and smooth. And here's what it looks like so far. But I'm gonna go ahead and blend it a little bit more because I wanna get rid of the lumps and clumps in there that I can't see. So after blending it for about two to three minutes, this is what it looks like. It has a liquidy gel-like consistency. And that's what we want. So the only thing left to do now is to pour this into a container for storage. And you want to use a glass container with the lid so that it is airtight. I'm using a mason jar and you can find these at the Dollar Tree. So this is the amount that I got from the first batch that I made and I'm going to make some more so I can fill up the rest of this mason jar. Because look at how much I have left over. I don't want all this good stuff to go to waste. This is ocean gold right here. So after I prepared the rest of the sea moss, not only did I fill up the rest of this mason jar, I also filled up another glass container that was bigger than this jar that I had. It's best to keep this gel refrigerated and it'll last up to two to three weeks. So let me know if you decide to make this gel and if you want to use the sea moss that I use, you can click on the link below in the description box and that will take you to the Vegan Electric store. And if you use this code, you can get 20% off your order. In my next video, I'll show you how I use the sea moss in my hair, so stay tuned for that. And I want to thank Vegan Electric for giving me this sea moss to try and for giving my viewers a 20% off discount code. So thank you for watching this video. And if you like what you saw, go ahead and give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click on that notification bell so you don't miss another one of my uploads. 
Thanks again for watching. Take care. Bye.